Hello, my name is Mrs. Travis Keene. I'm an educator here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry, and I am in part of a program called We Workers. Every Tuesday, we have a different topic, and today our topic is transportation. I'm gonna have a friend, my little friend, is going to help me talk about transportation. And my friend is Chicken Teak. How are you, Chicken Teak? Are you good? Can you tell me, Chicken Teak, do you know what transportation means? That's a, that's a pretty big word. You do? What does transportation mean? You're right, it means to move. Move people and goods from place to place. Can you think of some ways that people can move? What are some ways, if we talk about transportation, how can people move? Yep, they can move in cars. What else? Trains, bicycles, what else? Trucks, airplanes. Yep, those are all forms of transportation. What am I forgetting? Ah, oh, that's right, boats, because we talked about boats last week, didn't we? We did, we talked about tugboats. Well, this week we're gonna concentrate on trains because trains have played an enormous part in the movement of goods and people across our country. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad was one of the very first railroads in the Americas, and it extended west to the Ohio River as well as Chicago and St. Louis. And uh, later, together with the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad, it went north to New York City and then south to uh, Washington, D.C. Trains, trains played a big part in the development of our country, the growth of our country, and they're still playing a big part today. So I have a story I think you guys will like. This is a story about a man who really loved to take train rides. His name is Mr. Putter. And the title of this story is Mr. Putter and Tabby Take the Train. Can you see the train? That's kind of an old fashioned train with a big steam coming out of it, like an old steam engine. Look at, he has a friend too. He has a friend, a little cat. Mr. Putter and Tabby Take the Train. It, this book is a little bit different than the one we've read before. This book has chapters. So boy, this is gonna be interesting. The first chapter is entitled an idea. One day, Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, were cooking some oatmeal when Mrs. Teaberry called. Look at, there he is. He's busy working in the kitchen, stirring some oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Teaberry was Mr. Putter's friend and neighbor. I have an idea, she told Mr. Putter. As she spoke, her dog, Zeke, wagged at Tabby through the window. Tabby and Zeke were friends and neighbors, too. Can you see Zeke? It looks like he's standing in the sink. Oh, for heaven's sakes, chicken tea, we don't do that, do we? Goodness gracious. Mr. Putter was never sure he wanted to hear Mrs. Teaberry's idea. Sometimes her ideas were odd and involved running fast or wearing feathers or having purple toes. Oh, for heaven's sakes, look at this. Some of the things that she came up with are a little bit unusual, aren't they? But Mr. Putter was, always had good manners, so he asked, What is your idea, Mrs. Teaberry? Though he didn't really want to know. I think we should take a train, said Mrs. Teaberry. A train, thought Mr. Putter. Mr. Putter loved trains. Look at this. He, this is something he really, really enjoys. When he was a boy, he rode them all the time. He loved the big windows, the smooth seats, and traveling backwards. But he hadn't been on a train for years. He hadn't been on a train for a long, long time. I haven't been on a train for years, he told Mrs. Teaberry. Exactly, said Mrs. Teaberry. Let's go tomorrow. We'll go north for two hours, then turn around and come back. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby, who was still waiting for her oatmeal. Can I bring Tabby? Can we bring Tabby and Zeke? Mr. Putter asked Mrs. Teaberry. He wants to know if the animals can come. Hmm? Of course, she said. You're sure pets are allowed, he asked. Certainly. And they can sit with us on the train, Mr. Putter asked. Of course they can, said Mrs. Teaberry. You're sure, said Mr. Putter. I'm sure, said Mrs. Teaberry. Positive, asked Mr. Putter. Positive, said Mrs. Teaberry. Pets, she declared, 
can go on train. Look at there's Zeke. He looks like he's interested, doesn't he? He's got his leash. He's ready to go. Oh boy. And this, this chapter is called Another Idea. I'm sorry, said the ticket woman the next day. Pets can't go on trains. What? What? Said Mrs. Teaberry. Doesn't she look surprised? I don't think that's the answer she was waiting for, do you? Zeke was sitting beside her wearing his travel jacket. It had lots of pockets for bones and balls and little doggy lollipops. Mr. Putter and Tabby sat beside Zeke. They didn't have traveling jackets, just a nice blue blanket for naps. Look at, they're ready too. They're ready too. Mr. Putter had to smile. Let's just go home, he said. We'll have some tea. We can't go home, said Mrs. Teaberry. I have brought cards and games and binoculars and banana crunchies. And Zeke's jacket is all filled up, she's telling him. Oh, my goodness. Did you say banana crunchies, asked Mr. Putter. Mrs. Teaberry nodded. Like the kind we have on the 4th of July, asked Mr. Putter. Mrs. Teaberry nodded again. Suddenly, Mr. Putter couldn't imagine anything nicer than being on a train with Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke eating banana crunchies. It would be the best train ride of his life. He doesn't want to miss out on that, does he? We're not getting any younger, Mr. Putter told Mrs. Teaberry. I have another idea. He has another idea. Hmm. Taking the train is this chapter. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry went home. Look at this. They, the transportation they used to get home is they took a car. Can you see the automobile? One hour later, they went back to the station and bought their tickets. Hmm. Mr. Putter looked a little different this time. This time he had a very lumpy pack on his back. <laughs> It was full of little holes, and sometimes tiny doggy lollipops fell out. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Putter just stuck the lollipops back in and patted the pack on its head. What do you think that is in that pack? Mrs. Teaberry looked a little different, too. She was wearing a smock with very big pockets full of cards and games and binoculars and banana crunchies. And she carried a picnic basket that purred. <laughs> but no one could hear it except Mrs. Teaberry. Look at this picture, guys. Look at can you see eyes in the little in the little picnic basket? I see some eyes. Oh my goodness. The two old friends got on the train and found seats by a big window. The train began to roll. Mr. Putter was so happy he thought he would burst. This man enjoys a train ride, doesn't he? Look at the smile on his face. Can you see the smile on his face? And for the next four hours, he and Mrs. Teaberry had the train ride of their lives. Look at this beautiful picture. And if you look closely, you'll see she has binoculars and she's looking out the window at the countryside. Of course, the backpack decided to crawl under the seat and snore. And the picnic basket kept batting the window shade. That looks like Tabby's little paw, doesn't it? See that batting the window shade? What? But Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry just petted them fondly and fed them banana crunchies the whole way. Does everybody look content? They certainly look content to me. The end. And the very end of the train, you can see a caboose. See that little red caboose? Isn't that nice? Well, if you go to our website, to the home page, you will see that there are uh, activities, pages to color and things to make. One thing you'll find is a pattern for Thomas, the little engine, and you can cut this, color this uh, guy out, 
and glue him together. There are three pages. There's the one page for the front and the back and a left side and a right side. And when you put it together, after you cut it at color and cut and then glue, I think it's a good idea to take a paper clip. See, I took a paper clip and put that on the back and I put a paper clip on the front. And the idea is that it will sit up nicer, sit up nice and tall, it won't fall over if you put paper, a heavy paper clip on this engine, Thomas engine. Also, there are other coloring pages, but there's also a coloring page for you to color and make a car. Looks like this. I cut out my car and pasted it to a paper plate. That makes it more stable and then you can set it up and lean it up against something. Or you can take a half of a paper plate and just make your own little car with a person in it and wheels on it if you want. I hope you enjoyed today's activity with WeWorkers and I hope we see you again next week on Tuesday. Have a good day.